Wow, a tough one. I picked the Bengals. Now, I'm not too solid on it, but I picked the Bengals. Now, you know just, Odom's, Odom's? Now, Odom's hurt, yeah, he oh, tore yeah, his yeah, yeah. So he got, that's it. I've done that twice, it hurts. So, okay. so, so the defense ain't gonna be as strong, and I think the defense is the reason why they've been winning these close games, because they've been playing better defense. Okay. The offense has been doing what they do, you know what I'm saying? But this is a revenge game for an old boy in the backfield for the Bengals. Yeah. So I think he's gonna run hard. And because you missed a few people on the O-line and the D-line in Cincinnati, I think you win this one. A little close to the vest, but it still comes out a victory for y'all, which is bad for me, but I'm picking y'all to win. Who you got? Sometimes that revenge factor works for you, and sometimes it don't. I agree. It, it works for you, and sometimes it don't. And I don't see Cutler and them you know, missing it this week. Right. I see them making some noise and I see them stopping Cedric. They know Cedric just like Cedric know them. Yeah. So I'm going out on limb and I'm going to say Chicago in Cincinnati comes out with a win. Okay. Mr. Rue had Cincinnati. Hitman had Cincinnati also. Atlanta, Dallas. Ooh, we Dallas. Is that going to be? Ooh, that's going to hurt. Inside the, the stadium. And you lose to Atlanta. Damn. Hey, Matty Ice. I'm, I'm digging you, homie. So you got Atlanta, too? I got an ATL. All right, let me Whoa. see. Uh, shit, you don't have Atlanta down. You don't have Dallas or Atlanta down here. Hitman went with Atlanta. I'll find out what Mr. Rue wanted for Atlanta. I'll find out. New Orleans at Miami. Want it. Want it. I'm going for the upset, dog. Miami. Miami ran that motherfucking Wildcat on the Jets. Yeah. Man, dude, uh, 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 Jake Long, is that his name? The, the yeah, lineman. the lineman. Out of he pancaked one of the linemen on the New York Jets so hard it hurt my back. Hey, hey, look. People can say what they want to say, and I usually call these people naysayers. Yeah, naysayers. Well, yeah, yeah, but see, what it is is if it doesn't fit the scheme, then it's, it's, it's all, 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 that's just a, that's a gimmick. Right. It works. It works. It works. It, it, it works. Monday night. And see, but the thing is, Wody, the Nola, Magnola, all them, uh, and we are New Orleans. Woo, woo, woo. That Nola shit is New Orleans. Man. Mr. Rue got New Orleans. Man. Hitman got New Orleans. Drew Brees got the short man disease. Marky Love got Miami. And I'm going to tell you why. They ran that ball hella good. They ran that ball on the Jets. Well, the Jets knew what was coming. They knew it was coming. They still couldn't stop it. And remember this, that game that Miami lost to the Colts. Miami had the Colts on the ropes. They had them boys on their defense breathing and holding their hands, hands above their heads, trying to catch their breath. The only mistake they made was they gave Peyton Manning too much time on the clock, and he came right down the field to shoot, 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 doing all this little shit he do, and he scored and took the game back from Miami. If Miami plays ball control and does the same thing I said Pittsburgh needs to do, leave Drew Brees on that sidelines looking up at that clock like, damn, am I going to get back in the game? Miami can win. And that's what I think Miami's going to do. Miami's going to win. Next game. Arizona at the Giants. I'm going with the Giants. Uh, I want to take the Giants, but you know what? Kurt Warner's coming back. He's played there before. Right. He's not worried about it. And he wants to show Eli a little bit of something, you know, what he got. Right. So this is going to be a closer game than you think, but I think the Giants will pull this game. Like I game. agree. Uh, Hitman went with Arizona. Mr. Rue doesn't have that on it either. I'll get back at it, find out what he picked. And finally, may the worst team lose. Hey, I'll give you a, a good scenario for this game. Billy and Washington. Philly should win, but the problem is you in the Redskins' hometown. It's a little bit of pride. It's a little bit of anger. It's a new coordinator, Sherman Lewis, and what's going to happen is he knows, hey, man, if I don't win this game, which is Andy Reid, I don't have too much to flack about because Philly's in the World Series. And my cheesesteak eating Joey's and you know, down the street, right. they not gonna trip. Cause they gonna be like, oh fuck it. The Phillies, Phillies, Phillies. You know, they not gonna trip. So it can be a loss, but it ain't gonna be a bad loss. So I'm gonna take the Redskins and the upset. But I don't think Andy Reid gonna sweat it too much if they lose. Could you repeat that? No, I just <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, I think Philly's gonna win for the simple fact Washington is a motherfucking hot mess. 
don't know if I meant to them and suck because they suck, but if I didn't, I should have. Both you motherfuckers, for real, should just take a loss. Washington for being a hot mess, and Philly for losing to Oakland away. Philly lost. Serrano, it's all your fault. But y'all have to play this game. Y'all on Monday night, and, and, and you know, hey, Philly's in less disarray. You know what I'm saying? Then Washington. Washington has brought in an offense coordinator. And check this out, Dane. Wait up. These motherfuckers brought in an offensive coordinator who was calling bingo games at a, at a retirement home. He retired from the NFL. Who, what, what team was it? Sherman Lewis. Washington Redskins. Hey, yeah. Oh, yeah, I heard about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so all I'm saying is, y'all owner, he, he literally... He, he, he runs this team like he's playing Madden franchise. Fantasy league. Yeah. He, he runs it like it's Madden franchise mode. It's, it's his fantasy league. So, so I'm just going to get this to Philly. And shit, who the hell? Uh, well, that man went with Philly. And, and, and one more thing on it. Go ahead. Sherman Lewis is from that West Coast offense coaching tree, which is Dennis Green. He followed Dennis Green at Minnesota when it was uh, Billick was there and all that. So he knows it and in Green Bay. He knows it. But what it was is like, look. They told Zorn, look, man, you can't do this shit no more. So we're going to give it to Sherman. Sherman got it. The problem is, is that the man's been out a while. It's going to take him some time to get up to speed. It's more of a pride thing. And I think he's just going to say, look, I got this horse back here, Portis. I'm going to let him run. So man up, pride up, Redskins. Do it. Shit, I think, uh, shit. I'm hitting up Mr. Root now. But, hey, man, that's the picks. Uh, Hood Guru got the business on a video, so if y'all don't like something about it, blame that for it. Anyway, uh, anybody got any parting words to say? You know what? Excellent article in Parade Magazine this last Sunday, the Sunday Times, with uh, our commissioner, Goodell. He basically told his life story and how he loved football. Yeah. Uh, the situation he went with with his mom having breast cancer and when she passed away. Right. And how, you know, his love for the game. And when I read this man's story in his bio, the one thing that really got me is his story on when he left college. His love was like, man, I love this game so much. He wrote a letter to every NFL team. The commissioner Pete Bozell and everybody said, I want a job. And he finally got a job as an intern, making eleven grand a year. Is that all he had to do? Eleven. That's all he did. And sir, I, I truly commend you for that. I thought that was beautiful. It was a beautiful story. I love the story about you and your mom, the closest in the, in the understanding you have with breast cancer, because all of us have someone, a loved one, especially in our lives, a mother, a daughter, a sister, an auntie, who we we want to make sure that that doesn't that disease does not cripple them in any way. So big up to you. Uh, Commissioner Goodell, I love the article. I thought it was great. That's cool. We was going to do a segment called How You Like Me Now about the teams that won and stayed undefeated, but where's that thing at, Don? Where's that? The thing. The hard drive? Yeah, the hard drive. <coughs> there it is. Yeah, that's what we got. This is it. A lot of good stuff on there. A lot of good stuff. A lot of, a lot of good things on here. Area right. 51. Pray for the chop shop. Area 50. We love y'all oh, to all the Raider fans. Work. Pardon work. Um, oh, I would like to give big ups to my people down at the hundreds in LA. If you're ever in LA, check it out, Rosewood and Fairfax. Shout out for all the little shops down there on Melrose. Man. Man. Pops have never shop. Hey, and you people back east and all that cold weather and everything, I'm sorry, but it's kinda hot out here. The hood Woo! guru says, if, if anybody, what was it today? 77, 78, 80. Woo! If anybody out there has a radio show or has any, uh, I got on shorts connections to uh, satellite uh, radio or anything or uh, blog. What do they call that? Uh, Blogosphere. Uh, no, no. Uh, Does anybody write letters anymore? Y'all use stamps? Hit us up if you if you think we. And do I a write show, letters. So. I use staff. And that's all. Nah. I pay bills with money. Anyway, money. big ups to all the Raider fans. Man, y'all deserved it. And y'all know the Raider fans watch the Chop Shop. And that's why Raiders! That's why you ain't We out.